We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up our love friends, fill up the car to lip bands because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just wanna have fun. The trunk's full of wine. We're gonna stay up, have the time of our lives. The night is young, don't need anybody else. everyone and welcome back to my studio hope you're having a great day I am ready to try a little more blooming I think this time though we're gonna do a bloom swipe instead of a regular bloom may change that up we'll see but let's get down to the canvas and have some fun okay today we are working on an artist series 9 by 12 canvas it's an oval I like that shape for this type of swipe all right our pillow paint is going to be what I use that worked really well last time. This is Amsterdam Titanium White and Mix Pour. Works better for me than house paint. So that's what we're going to play with. Then for our cell activators, I have two. This is Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. And the other one is Amsterdam Titanium White. And both of those are mixed uh, two and a half to one with Aussie Floetrol. And then for our colors, I am playing with my eye candy pigments. So we have my Surin Purple. I love that. Oh, that is so shiny. And we have the Macaw Blue Green. That's gorgeous. I've added in the Baku Red. Looks a little pink here, but I think it's going to dry more red. This is the rainbow blue. These are so shiny. I don't know if you can see that shimmer, but oh, gorgeous. Then in our tube paints, I've got Artist Loft Neon Pink. And I've got Artist Loft Vermilion. And then I've got Golden's Fluid in the iridescent gold deep. And that has some beautiful shine to it. Oh, so happy. Okay, so we're gonna start by putting down our base coat and then we're gonna line up our swipe. Now all of my colors are mixed with the uh, Bare Deep Base 8300 High Gloss Enamel Interior Exterior and with the Joe Sonia Gloss Varnish. And that is two parts Bare, one part Joe Sonia. All right, so we're going to lay down our pillow. get our big palette knife and we're going to layer this and we're going to start with a layer of the blue violet
I'm loving this side. Not so much this side. I'm going to tilt this way just a little. Sort of push it that way. I think what I'm going to do is lay some more colors down and re swipe over here a bit. this out. Let me move some stuff out of the way. Out of the splash zone. Anything getting splashed here. Alright. Remember, you don't need to spin hard or fast most of the time. Just a gentle turn will get you just as much. If you're using house paint at all in your work, you really should not be torching, which is why I'm sitting here with a skewer going after bubbles that look sort of big. 
because I don't want batch of little pock marks in my finished work. That's pretty good now. All right, I'm gonna clean this up, take it off the spinner, and I'll bring it down for a close-up. Okay, we have wet results. Oh, I'm very happy with the way these colors work together. The cell activators worked great. Look at some of these cells. Oh, so pretty. This bright spot here is just gorgeous. That's that vermilion really shining out with the other pigments. Oh, beautiful. All right, we're gonna let this one dry. We're gonna cross our fingers and hope it dries well. Okay, we've got ourselves a little hexagon. They call this a four by four and that's because each side is four inches. And we're gonna play with this too. We're gonna bloom, 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 bloom. Um, probably bloom swipe. So we're gonna start with our base. So this is our titanium, our Amsterdam titanium white, and our mixed pour, which has been working really well for me. So we're gonna continue to play with that. do that because though this is pretty right here this is just a mess all right let's redo that don't be afraid to throw it all back again
shape, much happier. You'll see what happens. I'm gonna let it percolate a minute. shadows way too long you always thought that you were weak but babe you're wrong yeah you better step into the light just give it a try think that it's time you let that spark out you've been hiding in the shadows way too long Cause you're a work of art That's what I'm looking for right there. Gorgeous. I'm loving this little bright center. I know it means some of the white below popped up, but or it's the white cell activator. I'm not sure which. Maybe it's the white cell activator coming through. But whatever it is, that little bright spot right there in the middle is making me super, super happy. Oh, the shine. Awesome. All right. One more spin. That way just a little. A, I'm testing how much paint is left on here, and B, I'm trying to move what I really like and spin off what I don't like so much. Okay, now I'm happy, people. Let me clean this up a bit, and then we will pull this up and let you have a close-up. Woo, hold on for a close-up. Okay, wet results on this one. Look at the shine! Oh my god, this is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I cannot wait to see this dry. I don't know if I can even get you to see the shine, but I think you can sort of get an idea of the shine on this thing. Look at this. I'm sort of angling so that the light hits it right. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. This one I am so happy with. All right, let's wait for it to dry. Okay, we are on dry results. Look at this one. This dried darker than I thought it was going to, which made me very happy. Because at first I thought it was going to be a little too pale. But a lot of places that I thought were going to dry white, dried sort of this orangey tone. Which was cool. This part down here is so cool. Where I was playing. Very nice. That's the first one. Or is the other one dry darker than I thought? So did this one. So a lot of the colors dried really, really dark on this one. So this is a very dark piece, but there's a lot of color in here. I 
I like that little bit of the white CA right there that sort of shines out in the middle. And that is our second one. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I put up new videos, and please leave me a comment. I love talking with all of you. This is part of our Monday train. So after me is Angie Mason on Angie's Fluid Art with a live. You can get this, the links in my description box and I hope you have a wonderful day.